Gonna start with trim on the inside, gonna put trim around the door first. If you never cut trim before, you wanna cut it at 45 degree angles. Two 45s make a 90. So you get this measurement up here in the corner, and then the next down to the, to the floor. I'm um, looking about six feet. Yeah, I know you heard me say six feet. That's because I had to make this door work. Normally, average door is eight inches tall. Come out here to my miter saw. Start at zero. I'm gonna come 45. I'm gonna turn it to the left. I'm gonna cut this corner off so I don't waste no material. It's all my waste, low scrap piece. That corner, measure right here, down 72 inches, and then cut it off. I measured off right here, 72 inches. Seven two inch mark right here. Turn my saw back to zero. Cut it straight across. I right, just put my trim up to the door. So I forty five it. Put it right there in that corner right there. Go ahead and put a staple to it. All the way down to the bottom. Cut that long piece on the other side of the door. Fortify it. Gonna turn your miter saw to the right. Like I say, not to waste no material. Just cut it from that top corner right there. Then get your measurement from here down and cut it off. Go back to zero. Anybody say it? Yeah, I know. I don't have my safety glasses on. I have a bad habit of not putting my glasses on all the time. My wife get on me all the time for that. Anyways, put this trim on the other side of the door. Gonna put that right there with the corner of your door. Put that up in there. Now what you might have to do or need to do right here up at your hinges. Might want to mark down and notch them out a little bit. Probably about a quarter of an inch so you can get close to the close to the door right here. Then you see where I notched it out? Go around that um, hinge. Then it'll uh, get all the way flush with that piece right here. Right here at the door. Do is line it up. That corner with that corner right there, pretty much. Put some staples there. Let's do that all the way down to the bottom. There's that trim at the top of the door. We measure from the two bottom pieces. We measure from the top. And that's all I've done to check yourself. But if you measure one or the other, if you measure, say like from the bottom to this bottom, I got about 30, you know, 3 sixteenths. 
when you get your when you go cut your board, it's gonna fortify it both ways. And up at the top, the longest part of it should be about 34. Five eighths, about thirty-four and five eighths. On that first cut, not to waste no material. Put the edge off. We already know it's got to cut both ways. We're gonna turn the saw this way to the forty-five. Cut that corner off. Now get our measurement. The top was 34, 5, 8. At the bottom was, uh, I think, 30 and a quarter. Now we got the 45 that the other way. I'm right. When I cut it, it should hit on both measurements at top and bottom. Let's go put it together. Come back inside. Put it in place. That's that's pretty good right there. That's pretty good. Just take and staple it down. Got the trim around the door. If you had the whole door insert with the trim and all, you wouldn't have to have to do all of this. But this room is not square. Uh, the door height is not normal height. I had to cut the door down, so I had to improvise. Look at these shows. They don't show you when you're working on an old house how much improvising it has to be did. So, once you put your trim up, Go back with some dap, some caulking or some dap, and go in and all your seams around your where your staple nails at, fill them in with some dap or some caulking. And once you got this in around your door, then you go to the floor and finish your base.